Hey hi, do you know WordPress is secure but easy to hack? Yes right, in next few minutes I am going to explain those three reasons. With each reason, I am going to explain you the complete understanding why they are the reasons of security and how you can solve them. So you will be able to decide yourself WordPress is secure or not. So let's jump into it. Hi, my name is Anup and I am the co-founder and CTO of NextGen Innovators and I am responsible for WordPress security vertical over here. We are a full-fledged IT company which provides designing, development, marketing, maintenance and security services to our few awesome clients. So I summarize my answer into three reasons. So these are the three reasons that I was talking about. The first reason is Mark's audience are non-technical, it is very flexible and the third one is largest shareholder in the market. So let's take the first one, mass audience are non-technical. So first let's understand what does it mean by non-technical. So if you don't know about WordPress directory structure, how WordPress files are going to be saved on your server, if you don't know that particular part means that audience is non-technical. Second point, they don't know basic things about client and servers means if you send any request from your computer and it goes on the server and that particular page come back to your phone or laptop and display it to you. If you or any audience or any user don't know about this communication part means they are non-technical. Third major thing, if there anybody don't know about the file, files and permissions over the server don't know how to set the correct file and permission over the server means they are non-technical so these are few of them uh, whom i am assuming they are non-technical and uh, the wordpress mass user base belongs to this particular category because wordpress uh, people choose wordpress because of ed easy to use no need of technical expertise that's why they their clientele is non-technical now being non-technical is not bad because their primary business is not understanding the technical thing. They need to do the primary job they are doing like Disney marketer do marketing and bloggers do blogging using the WordPress. But they mis do mistakes. The common mistakes, I have listed down three common mistakes from our clientele that we serve. So let me list the mistakes they do. So the first mistake they do, they don't upgrade their WordPress core version. So let me write over here the first mistake don't upgrade core WP version. The second mistake they do they use famous plugin famous paid plugin even. Third mistake what they do they use nulled themes means those are available on theme forest or marketplaces like evento they find out the alternate uh, of some websites those paid themes and they download them and you don't you know nothing comes in free and these themes come with spams now let's uh, understand this particular first point uh, what is the problem when you don't upgrade the wp wordpress version like if you don't have updated wordpress version then uh, let's understand uh, how wordpress released the version so let me show you something so this is the current update uh, yeah so i recently did an update of for my client so it's showing uh, the current version is 5.7 and they are listing down like since version 4.7 also updated the fix to following security issues means these security issues are below this like from 4.7 to this and they are thank giving the detail like what security update has been done in 5.7 so what they have done they have done this loophole yeah, this means vulnerability means loophole security loophole so they have fixed this particular loophole in which file in media library so they expose with each update what security updates they have done second they have done this data expose vulnerability 
means loophole you can say within the latest post blog rest api so they have done this and there are other things they uh, which is not much important they have added over here so see hackers what do over here they read these security updates and if you are not using the latest version means your website have these two major these two loopholes in your website and hacker tries to inject uh, through these methods in several websites and if your security is not tight from the file permissions at your server level you might get spammed from uh, within your website so this is why uh, so i hope you got this particular point uh, if you don't upgrade the wp version what problem you may face similar problem you may face from the famous paid plugins here you have option to update because you if you have time you can go there and you can update but in the famous plugin paid plugin which come in two ways one is the direct way what is direct way you purchase and there is an indirect way indirect way is most common when you purchase a paid theme when you purchase a paid theme what happens these paid themes use uh, very famous plugin paid plugins in bulk and let's suppose you have two paid plugins and what happens these paid plugins once if you have installed any plugin they say uh, take our subscription to get updates and but we don't update because uh, we don't want to pay extra money and second one uh, they charge like they charge more than the theme so what what we do we don't update and hackers know about these things and they find any loophole or like them like they up, they release the updates security updates they also release the security updates so they do they apply the same methodology of the, as i told you on this they apply the same methodology in the famous paid plugins and they try to inject into your website and again if your security if your file permission this this file permission is not that much properly configured you might get spammed in your website the third one is the is theme uh, nerd theme you are you are directly uh, downloading the theme with spam in most of cases because uh, they are uploading they are paying the server cost and they are uploading lots of uh, theme files so they are not doing this particular work in free so they are promoting their hackers or spammers uh, using these websites so don't do these uh, three mistakes uh, if you are a non technical guy and this is why wordpress becomes less secure because of non technical Uh, users mistake these three major mistakes so what are the solutions uh, let's talk about the solution uh, let me raise this so let's talk about the solution what best solution is to the first best solution to avoid these three mistakes second if you have downloaded a nerd theme and you literally want to go with that or you have already done setup uh, through nerd theme or you are using famous plugins so what you can do you can tight your server file permissions in i i'll not not go into the detail what does it mean uh, and how to do let i'll explain you a little bit uh, basically you, what you have to do uh, there are several folders into your uh, server on your website so you have to stop the write permission means nobody should be able to write into your server so if there is any spam into your nerd theme and they are trying to write some spams into your root folder or somewhere so they wouldn't be able to write so you have to stop the write permission but that's also not successful 100% successfully uh, applicable because there is a upload folder in which you upload or your media like whatever image you upload uh, that should go be, go into this and if you have completely stop the write permission image will not be uploaded so you have to give the file permission uh, writing file permission to this upload folder and what you can do in upload folder you can write a, this is a third step stop the write permission for everything except the upload folder and add a stxs file and stop the php execution means you have to write something like something i'll uh, i'll uh, add some blog description into the uh, video link 
where how to do this uh, to how to stop the php execution in upload folder so there are some code you you can write where whatever like if some uh, spam files are writing xyz.php some spam files into upload folder because they can create so this file will not be executable uh, within this particular folder uh, and you can control this using stxs if you are using your survey server apache like if you are using nginx then it wouldn't be possible but if you are using apache then you can control this particular thing using stxs so uh, this is the first major mistake uh, that non-technical uh, users do and mass audience belongs to this particular segment that's why wordpress are ross in terms of security if you will talk about the market trend but if you will see the internally if somebody is technical and configuring the wordpress uh, very smartly then it's secure so this this was the first point let's move on the second point so this is the second point it is very flexible uh, in terms of flexibility i have divided these uh, four quadrant the first we will understand uh, what is the definition of the flexibility second we will understand oh both are three no issue this is the second we will do cms comparison the third we will know the reason of flexibility like how wordpress works internally to give you the flexibility and fourth point that we are, we are going to understand is the flexibility becomes problem statement means this flexibility becomes a problem statement and if not correctly configured what does it mean uh, if i say the flexibility flexibility means change in functionality without much efforts means which particular cms give how much flexibility you want a additional uh, uh, functionality in the website so how much efforts that is does it take like you want to add e-commerce functionality into your website if we we'll talk about anything else you need to code lots of things like products creation products listing checkout possibility payment gateway possibility but here in wordpress you install a basic plugin called woocommerce and your store is ready to go live within let's suppose you can say by installing five minutes and configuring your products one or two days in within three days you can go live it depends on your how much time you take in product like to but just to enable the functionality it's five minute work so this is i'm saying the uh, flexibility in terms of second thing here the second flexibility part what level of dev oops knowledge do you need there is a term i have added just added uh, which is called devops uh, devops basically the operation that is being done at the server level development plus operations the full form is so that is called devops like let's suppose uh, let me give an example uh, like if you need to uh, make a additional functionality uh, if you are uh, used to with wordpress uh, we have an option to on and off debug mode debug mode uh, we can have a true values true or false and that is in wp config.php which is in root so this debug config mode you can't change uh, using w uh, wordpress admin panel you have to go into the server you have to edit your wp config file and you have to do debug mode true or false so this this comes under this devops part so what level of knowledge do you need to do this particular work so this is called next next thing uh, you can say this is the next parameter in terms of flexibility i'm going to comparison i'm going to do the comparison on these parameters of cms and the third one if you say uh, there is no space uh, let me write here so if i'll say third what level of coding skills do you need to work on so if we'll talk about the wordpress you need i think almost zero knowledge of php uh, wordpress is based on php language so you don't need any coding expertise you just need a little bit you are familiar with the internet and the c panel you just install and configure database and something like that then you are good to go with the wordpress 
So these are the three reasons on behalf of I am going to do the CMS comparison of the PHP. And let me list, we'll let's come on the second point and let me list the uh, CMS in the market. The first, let's take WordPress. Second, let's take uh, Magento and uh, OpenCart and Drupal. So if I say uh, WordPress is mainly introduced for blogging, uh, it's mainly introduced for e-commerce, it's mainly introduced for e-commerce, is Drupal mainly introduced for informational websites. Now, uh, if I talk about the in terms of skills that we have listed over there. So first is change in functionality. Functionality, let's try it. Functionality, let's second one is uh, DevOps. And the third one is coding skills, coding. So these are the three ones. So if you need to add a new functionality into WordPress and let's give number out of 10, out of 10 and out of 10. So if you need anything into the WordPress, you just type on the internet, you will get a plugin for that. And if you don't agree with this thing, you can write anything uh, like you want any coupon code, any type of coupon code, any possibility in coupon code, you can write and you will get a plugin for that. So large community community base and lots of developers are working from years and so the adding the functionality is very easy into the wordpress so if i say i can give 10 out of 10 to this and somewhere few few functionalities that you need uh, customized development and if i go the devops operation almost zero uh, efforts so for this i also can uh, give 10 out of 10 you don't need any DevOps operation. And if you need coding skill, there is no coding skill. So let's, it's easy. Means if I'm giving the higher numbers, it's easy to use. And if I talk about the Magento, the adding the functionality is very, very difficult. Like you need, first of all, uh, there is no any plug and play system. You, you, if you are going to add the extension, you need a DevOps operation guy. So and DevOps operation must have proper knowledge of Linux. So if I'm saying uh, I can give this three and coding skill you must have, look like if you are uh, running the PHP partition, uh, there is a uh, command, uh, I'll, I'll not go into that detail. So if I'll say the functionality is also three. In OpenCart, OpenCart is a little bit flexible. There is, there is few extensions are available and you can upload through OpenCart panel, but again, uh, you have to upload that uh, particular somewhere, a particular extension through the file system. And you must have knowledge about which folder upload, uh, which extension needs to be uploaded where. Like it gives a predefined folder that you need to upload into the root part and that automatically get uh, arranged according to your website. But sometimes it gives problem. And then uh, accordingly, if it adds a new feature like uh, in admin panel of OpenCard, you need to work with the permissions. So it's again, I can give it five, five, five. And Drupal is same like Magento. It's almost same like Magento. You, whatever you need to do updates, you need to clear your cache. And it's also give the options to clear the cache from the backend part, but it's very difficult in terms of, if you say uh, I have to use an, any informational website CMS. So I'll prefer with going with WordPress instead of Drupal, but again, in terms of security, it's better because again, uh, that, that are, uh, why it's better in, the, in terms of security will cover the third point and you will get understanding why this is better. So uh, we have seen like WordPress is winning over here uh, in terms of CMS comparison, in terms of adding the functionality, in terms of DevOps operation, we, there is no need of DevOps operation and the coding skills, there is no much needed of the coding expertise. So the reason of flexibility. So how does the function uh, flexibility works over here? So basically uh, there are some master files. There are sh short of you can say few files in the WordPress setup. Whatever you command, let's suppose you need to add a new plugin. Add plugin option. You upload that plugin that goes to master file and that master file there is a directory structure of WP content and there is another folder is plugins 
these master files copy that files into these plugins means that plugin and this file like where to add that particular plugin and this plugin then get initiated means these master files what do will you add a plugin you upload a plugin that plugin is get copied into this particular part then uh, you activate it and once you'll activate it that get initiated and once it get initiated it can it can make changes into your complete server and you have seen this like once you are activating any plugin you don't need to do anything everything has been done automatically so this is the flexibility part you don't need to go into your server all things is being done according to the plugin because uh, they don't keep the control into their master files they give the control to the plugin because every plugin needs a different kind of things let's suppose uh, you need you are installing a cache plugin so what it does in in wp content folder it makes a folder cache and whatever the cache they need to make they make over here this particular cache becomes a problem statement over here because what does spam do spam uh, use the same mechanism and this plugin instead of doing the right things they do the wrong things they start writing spams so i hope you got understanding of this particular point how flexibility here this flexibility becomes a problem statement now for this particular what solution do we have the solution for this particular problem so first of all you need to understand the directory structure let's understand the directory structure so once you install uh, you get three folders wp admin second folder is wp content third is wp include Other, another important files that are available is wp config dot php another file is index dot php and in wp content again it's subdivided into themes plugins uploads the major three folders and there is a upgrade so whatever files or you can say uh, images you upload that goes into this folder whatever plugins you upload goes into this folder whatever themes you upload goes into this folder so and these keep some logs or something in of whatever you are upgrading this keeps database configuration or other configuration like debug mode is on or not and this is the main the first file from where uh, wordpress is start executing means every request for post or anything with that comes from this file and that is start executing the process so this is the directory structure i will not go into the depth and in plugins uh, one more thing that i will mention and there are some plugins let's suppose you are installing a yoast plugin so you will get a yoast folder over here name may be different so you are installing any xyz plugin so you, it will be like that and accordingly theme also divided into folders now let's talk about the file permissions file permissions are majorly divided into uh, three parts write read and execute like if you are not giving write permission to anything it can't be right uh, in example uh, if uh, you have you are not giving write permission to this particular folder how to give i'll not go into that because that's like little bit technical part i'm just trying to let you know what are the possibilities so you are stopping the writing permission to theme folder and if you'll go into theme and try to add new from wp admin panel it will not allow you because you have stopped the write permission into the theme folder similarly into the plugin if you you can do but in upload if you'll do you can't upload the files of images you can say from the media and if you'll stop the read part so nobody can read them let's suppose in upload folder you stop reading permission you uh, you have removed the reading permission and you you are going into media option where all images comes into grid like if you'll go in the media 
lots of images are coming like this so if you stop the reading permission so this php can't read these media folder and it will not show you which file it is next one is the execution process this is a reading writing part where we are adding something or reading the particular part execution is somewhere which is public public means if i am executing index.php i am hitting from the url let's suppose my url is www.nexgi.com slash index.php so I am hitting this particular URL, it's going back to server, it's executing and coming back into to your device. So these are the three permissions, write, write, read and execute. And now if you'll see this, the solution that I'm going to talk about, the problem, what we problem we had, we had the problem like I want to stop writing the spam files, spam files from this from my website like nobody can write into my directory uh, structure and these are this is the my directory structure and i got better understanding right now in which file i need to give the right permission because see uh, you don't upload plugins daily once your website is uh, under development then you need permission after that at certain time after some time you will not need the writing permission to the plugin folder so you can stop first thing and whenever you need it like whenever you need to add a new plugin you go into the server you give write permission you upload that particular plugin activate them and then again disable the writing permission so you can do with themes this one uploads you can leave and then upgrade you can stop this is the one wp admin you don't need wp content you need writing permission otherwise it will not work for inside you can stop in wp include you can stop the wp config because uh, after making some certain configuration statements uh, configuration changes you don't need to give access of this so you can stop the write permission and all the php files you can stop the writing permission over here so this is the basic like if i say in a layman layman language i can let you know how the linux permissions so which i mentioned over here in the first part this file permission play a major role into the security part and all the major cms uh, work on this like in magento drupal open cart they all manage their security using this file permission concept uh, you can say this one this one and this one that's why they are more secure and by default it has permission to write anything anywhere that's why it is less secure but you can make wordpress like these using correct knowledge of you can say correct knowledge of this file permission so these were the two points that we have covered mass audience is non-technical due to non-technical they do the basic mistakes and hackers take advantage of that next is the very flexible due to flexibility it gives access to write anything anywhere in the server that's why it this flexibility point which is the major advantage uh, that's why WordPress have 41% market share in the internet world but it adds a disadvantage that you can remove by uh, applying the proper permission on the server. Third point that we are going to discuss next. So largest shareholder in the market. Uh, this is very uh, funny or you can say important point. Uh, this is the report uh, of a survey company. So here is WordPress. In the 2011, it has 13 point. Like that time, uh, I think Magento has been launched since 2014. Magento and Drupal also was the, at the same stage in 1.4. And if you'll see right now, the current position is 41% WordPress. And if you'll say Magento, 0.7%. And if we'll say Drupal, it's 1.6%. I think that's it. Uh, those are the PHP based. It is not a CMS. It's a CMS, it's a PHP based CMS. So this, I am highlighting the PHP one. This is PHP one. Blogger is not a PHP one. 
these two are the PHP one. So they are the PHP one. And if I'll say, if highlight the information mainly, jo, mainly those are the e-commerce based. I'm highlighting with the, the black, yeah, not black, the blue one. So this is e-commerce, this is e-commerce. And rest three are the for the information one, informational website. So being a hacker, let's suppose you are a hacker. So, and you uh, you try to invest some time to find a hack into a website. So in which you find, you will find in point seven. Let's suppose you get one hack in this, one hack in this, one hack in this, one hack in this, one hack in this. Means hack means a loophole. You invested your one month to read the codes and finding the loopholes hit and trial how to inject the virus and you you get successful uh, you get success in magento so you can only get the excess of 0.7 so percent that's not worthy actually but if you are doing the same thing over here so you can guess get access of major market share it's same like uh, in celebrity uh, if celebrity do is common mistake common mistake is here it's a celebrity right now you uh, if i say any in a very layman word it's a celebrity right now and all hackers are their audience if celebrity do any mistake means if wordpress do any mistake in terms of security hackers take advantage of that and similarly if celebrity do any mistakes so their audience or you can say media take advantage of that try to get the trp over here they try to get inject the spams so once you are using the wordpress make sure you have a proper security provisions because it's very famous and these hackers don't come to your website individually with many clients i discussed and uh, their first thing before getting hacked they say are uh, my website is not that much famous and nobody knows that's uh, is available on the internet that's not coming on the google how these hackers get knowledge about this and they come on my website they inject the virus so basically they don't do this particular uh, exercise manually because they hack in numbers so basically if i explain you a basic concept how they do so once you register let's suppose you are registering on godaddy so once you're registering any domain, you start getting calls of IT companies. If you have purchased any domain, you must uh, got calls. Now hackers do the same. They purchase this data. Newly registered domain. So first they purchase this newly registered domain, then they add that list into their machine so the first first part of this machine means the first work of this particular machine is uh, let me show you in the next one uh, let me take the board so the process uh, if i explain the process how so you users purchase domain newly registered domains so this is a list of domains that hacker purchased now they will do they add that particular thing into machine this machine filter outs uh, there are certain rules uh, you can hit to a to these list like first website is wordpress or is not wordpress so there are some patterns of the wordpress coding structure and this machine get to know using that logical way that is wordpress or not and if your website is wordpress that get again segmented into a new list this is very important concept how your website is going to be hacked this is a basic algorithm that hackers use so first they purchase a newly registered domains first one second they add into machine they segregate whether your website is word on wordpress or not so let's suppose there were 500 domains 
and these 500 domains out of 500 250 are on wordpress so they get to know these 250 websites can be hacked now what they do they segregate is again they segmented it segment it into according to plugins so again this list go into again uh, a different machine and what this machine do this machine again segment according to plugin let's suppose contact form 7 there are uh, 200 website out of this are using contact form 7 there is js composer out of this 50 website using js composer dv there are 50 website using dv so these are the few plugins and with plugins they keep the version let's suppose 1.7 1.8 1.9 so again there is a another segmentation of the website so now they have a group of hackers this data again get go on sale on these group of hackers like do you want plugin based segmented wordpress list so this is the wordpress list and this wordpress list goes like these are the hackers different different hackers and this hacker got a loophole in contact form 71.7 now this hacker has two choices to do this exercise same or purchase data from this so they purchase this data again like not all hackers purchase the initial all data there, there are again segmented things so they purchase and try to hit those websites or person and this list get refreshed timely like each each month or each week according to the server capability of the hackers they again send the request and if you have updated the plugins they update their list and that's why once like let's suppose at 1st jan 2021 they have purchased some list it will be depreciated and th these these hacker have to purchase again a, a freshly updated list from them so they this is a you can say business uh, in between the hackers so now they have they got the list and how many website contact form 7 using 200 websites and the version was 1.7 and let's suppose from these 200 150 has updated so they will also maintain contact form 7 1.8 and 150 has updated but 50 is here so this hacker knows I found the loophole in 1.7 and these 50 websites are using this particular part. So I have got understanding they, they will directly hit that particular loophole and inject that particular spam. Now the next is uh, the status of this the status of 2020 WP hacks. So due to old WP version 39% website got hacked. and due to outdated plugins 52 percent website got hacked due to weak password due to brute force 38 percent website got hacked so if you are checking uh, you can make a schedule uh, weekly checking your wordpress version or plugins and you make sure that you update those things so basically two major problems we found and you need to find the solution of these two problems if you want to enjoy the flexibility of WordPress and second if you want to security too. So these two things we want, we want to enjoy the flexibility and we want to make our website secure. So the first problem are the non-technical users, the major problem. So for the non-technical users, we have created a course and then this course is completely free. You can get the link from the description and you can join that course. You can read or you can learn the easy techniques uh, there are i think uh, 50 to 15 techniques that i have solved or i i'll i'll solve so you will go on that particular uh, course url you will get the status update and you can get the links from the description second problem those users have knowledge little bit technical knowledge and i whatever point i have explained they can do they don't have time they have done time in primary. Let's suppose I am a digital marketer and I know I can earn more money 
instead of investing time on my website so in that case you can hire us and we will make sure that your website get updated and out of spam and if you are uh, hiring outsourcing your security point to us so our team regularly monitor your uh, server files like in the in the directory set that I, that I explained in that our manual person will go or our automation machine or AI go into this and find the suspicious file if there is any suspicious file comes into that it gets reported to our team and our team go manually and check that particular file and remove and we try to find out the possible reason behind that and we solve that so this is all I think so I hope you got better understanding what are the three main reasons why WordPress are lost in terms of security and make sure whatever the suggestion that I have given and if you are going to join our free course join that course and learn and make a smart and secure website and if you are watching this video on YouTube make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to get a list update and if you are watching this video on LinkedIn or some other platforms make sure that you follow us and whatever applicable action over there so you get updates from that particular platform see you in the next video bye bye thank you